For years now, I've been sending out a weekly update to my teams over email just to keep everyone up to date with what's happening around the business. And this week, Paul Burgess said to me, you know what, we should put this on video. So here we are, the first of many video updates to see what's going on each week at the museum. Hope you like it. Let me know down in the comments what you think. We managed to get the Piper Gallery back open. Uh, we had a brief closure whilst we were working on some of the climate controls and making sure the conditions in here are absolutely perfect to display these amazing objects. Uh, we've got a little bit more work to do on that, which will be at the start of March, working with our engineers that have installed everything here. Uh, but for the moment, everything is back open. The collection is looking fantastic. Our curators have done an amazing job with uh, the reinstallation. So please do come down and check it out. We got Tiddlers back up and running here in the unbelievably brilliant Thames room with the even more unbelievably brilliant Maddie. Tiddlers is our preschool program uh, for those young, young visitors to the museum where we just start to introduce them to the river, to the stories about the town and to the sport. Um, and crucially, they come down here for a great time. And of course, the parents can get a coffee afterwards. So we had a great chat this week with the guys from Immerse You Row, uh, which is our interactive rowing experience here, where you can hop on the rowing machine and row the Henley course, or even go down the Paris Olympic course. And we discussed with them um, what the future looks like for this um, app here and how we can update it for the museum, but also what we're gonna do for our uh, Olympic and Paralympic exhibition coming up in June, focusing on Henley and its links with the games. So also pleased to say this week that we finally uh, finished off the last bits with fixing the car park following the floods. So the barriers now are all up and working again. We tripped out the electrics to those with all the flood water and our new snazzy gate, uh, which is there and over here, is getting installed as well. And hopefully that'll be up and running uh, the start of February.